Hey guys, good morning. If you're new to this channel, hi, it's very nice to meet you. My name's Milena. But if you are a returning subscriber, well, in that case, welcome back. So I do get a lot of questions from people asking me things like, where should I open a bank account? Or what's the best telephone provider or the best health insurance? And well, to that, I will respond with this video. And so simply put, I can quite literally not give advice for everyone because obviously everyone has specific needs and specific wants with regards to all the different kinds of subscriptions and plans. But what I can do is I can show you all the different plans that I have and also explain why I have them because in the case that you resonate with them, then you can be like, okay, so that plan worked for her. Maybe it works for me. And so before we continue on with this video, I do know that some of you are just here to see a very specific part of the video. And so for that, I have added timestamps. So obviously feel free to click through to what part of the video most interests you. But for those who want to watch everything, let's get going. So to start off, the first subscription we'll be talking about is the internet. Our internet provider is called XS For All, and I've been with them for quite a long time and I've never had too many issues with regard to like customer service or the signal and stuff. So generally no complaints there. And at this company, we have the compact plan. And the compact plan costs around 50 euros and it's quite literally the most basic plan you can get. This plan only includes internet, but Excess for All does have plans for internet and home phones or internet and like cable. But for us, we were just looking for internet. The main reasons why we have this plan here at our student house is first, it was recommended from my step family who lives in the Netherlands and who has lived in the Netherlands their whole life. Wow, that was a really weird way of me saying that they are Dutch. <laughs> Why did I put it that way? So my step family is Dutch and they would strongly recommend it, this internet provider. They use it a lot. Um, they actually live all the way up in the north of Netherlands in Friesland. That's not really relevant, but just wanted to contextualize kind of uh, where the recommendation came from. And basically one of the few issues that we have with the Wi-Fi is that one of my roommates doesn't have like consistently good connection because the walls between the rooms are quite thick, at least this one is. Uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi gets a little iffy back there and also when you go to the living room, because again, thick walls far away and that's for sure because we have the most basic plan. It's not that strong and you might have some issues if you are in a household that for example is very, very big. But for sure, if you are someone who is living in a studio, then yeah, this plan for sure would work in my opinion. Um, again, haven't had any big issues with it. So that's, that's my take on it. And next we have my health insurance. And oh boy, do I get hurt a lot, like a weird amount of times. I'm gonna tell a really brief story, so if you wanna skip it, do that right now. Okay, once when I was living back in Brazil, which is where I'm from, um, we had set up kind of like a pull-up bar, but it wasn't a very good one. I bought it for like around what equals to be like 10 euros um, at a market on the street, so mm, I could have probably thought that that wasn't you know, the strongest material. And so I set it up and I go to do a pull-up and I'm like, wow, I'm so strong. I'm getting above the bar so quickly. Uh, little did I notice that I wasn't I wasn't getting anywhere the bar was slipping and I didn't realize that until the bar broke off from the wall like from the the door frame and I fell down and right under like the door frame you have like a little, a little boop, a little curb I'd say to get into the other room and so my back hit right at the edge and so I hit it quite hard um, I'm not sure how hard but hard enough for a 13 year old to pass out for a good couple of seconds. And my family was downstairs and they didn't notice what was happening because um, I told them, hey, I'm setting up my pull-up bar. Uh, and so I go downstairs like half an hour later and I'm like, guys, did you really not notice I was on the, I was unconscious. Did really no one? Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, that was probably the day where I realized I need some good health insurance. So the health insurance provider that I use in the Netherlands is the Zulvere Kruis. And well, first of all, you need health insurance in the Netherlands. So you need either a basic package or a more elaborate one, but at least the basic package is quite literally necessary if you want to live here. So keep that in mind. 
at the Zillow Rekreis, I do have the basic package as well, the Zizo Basic. And that one costs, let me see, around 112 euros and 25 cents. And so as the name may kind of give away, it is a pretty basic health insurance. It does have you know, all the important things, but if you are someone who has specific needs, then I do recommend you to take a look at the other plans and to see what best works for you. I actually just recently moved back to using the uh, basic package and for you know health reasons, which I don't want to get into, but um, I had to switch and I switched back. And again, the reason I chose for this health insurance provider is because of the advice that I was given from my family here in the Netherlands. And also I checked out a website where I could compare the different health insurance prices uh, depending on what my needs were. And I'll add the link to that website down below so you can go take a look. And that basically indicated that based on my needs and what I thought was important to have, Zilverkreis was the best option because of its price. And next we have my telephone provider. So the plan that I have is from Tele2 or Tele2 and it includes includes 7 megabytes and 200 call minutes. And this plan costs me 13 euros and 33 cents every month. Since I'm quite active on social media, I know that I'll be checking my phone quite frequently. And so I want to make sure that I had enough uh, megabytes to keep me going. And there have only been very few cases in which I you know, ran out of megabytes, I guess. And those were moments where I either forgot to turn on my Wi-Fi when I got home and I ended up using my uh, 4G straight for like a week. In that case, yeah, I ran out. Or one time I was downloading something and I forgot to turn off the downloading when I left the house. And so it kept downloading and then that's also how I ran out of megabytes. But overall, I haven't had any major issues and also all the payments always make sense. So nothing weird going on there. My next subscription is for music and for that I use Spotify Premium. So Spotify Premium costs around 15 euros a month. But since I share it with my sister and my dad, it does end up being 5 euros a month for me. I have been looking for song recommendations. And so in the case that you do have some good songs, Songs that you would like to share with me. Well, in that case, please do. Thank you. And the next subscription that I have is for Netflix, which costs me around eight euros a month. So I've always been on Netflix, which means that I never tried different platforms, but I have recently noticed that Netflix is a uh, Kind of slacking it doesn't really have the best movies all the time and honestly i've kind of watched all the ones that i do want to watch so i might even switch over to i don't know hulu or disney plus <gasps> i have a passion for disney movies but that's a completely different story and so the last subscription that i want to talk about today is probably the one that most people have questions about and that would be which bank do i use the bank that i use is ab and amro and is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest bank in the Netherlands. And a few other quite popular banks includes Rabobank, uh, ING, ASN Bank. Mind you, again, that one big part of my decision was really based on the recommendation that I got from my family here. AB and AMRO is really a very national bank, but at the same time, it does have really good deals for international students. There are a few banks that are quite tailored to international students or expats, but the decision I made was for AB and AMRO. At AB and AMRO, I have the student package and I'm about to tell you some good news because the student package, oh, it's free. You get a free student package. And with your student package, so as you have your active account, you can also open a savings account. If you go online and you search banks in the Netherlands, honestly, and I've been there, you get a lot of information. A lot of different banks with a lot of different, you know, packages and benefits. But personally, I have been with AB and AMRO for two years, I think. I haven't had any bad experiences with customer service or the platform and their apps. But of course, if you do have a different opinion on that, feel free to comment down below so that we can provide people with more transparency about the options that they have. But this is pretty much all I have to say about the bank. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. But until then, take care. Bye guys.